Welcome back to Real Christianity with Rev Kev. It's a Santa Junga Village. Yaki Yaki. I was listening to the leader of our organization walk through the, the book of Mark and he shared a, a passage to me that always was a little confusing and then it was okay. And then he shared something deeper and it really came to who do you belong to? And, and listen to this passage. It may be familiar to some of you. In uh, Mark chapter 12, uh, the, the teachers, the religious teachers came and tried to trap Jesus and said, Teacher, we know that you are truthful and defer to no one for you are not partial to any, but you teach the way of God. Is it lawful to pay a poll tax to Caesar or not? Shall we pay or shall we not pay? That was a question, but Jesus, it says here, it says, knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, why are you testing me? Bring me a denarius to look at. And they brought one and he said to them, whose likeness and inscription is this? And they said to him, Caesar's. And Jesus said to them, render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God's. And they were amazed at him. And I've always thought of this passage of, yeah, we should pay taxes. As the Bible says, we should honor those in leadership. We should be honest and true and right with what is good. And, and whose mark is on the denarius? Whose mark is on the money? The governments. But the greater part of this passage was what he doesn't say. He says, whose mark is on the denarius? Give to him to government to Caesar what is Caesar's, and give to God what is God's. Whose mark is God on? That's us. That's us as human beings. He's saying, your money, it's marked with Caesar, that's Caesar's, but you, people, all, and according to Genesis 1.27 says, you were created in the image of God. Now, that is deep what all that means, but we were, we were imprinted with God's likeness. And so who does our money belong to? Who do we give to as far as taxes and to be right and good? We give it to Caesar, we give to the government. But who do we belong to? And it's God. Who, whose likeness is seen on us? It's God. So some of us have gone through some tough stuff. Some of us feel a little lonely after the holidays. Uh, I, I just moved across the country. It's, it's hard to feel settled. But then I read God's word and I said, well, I, I can rest assured that to know that the, this passage says a lot. You know, who, do we pay taxes? Certainly. But it says even more. That who do I bear the imprint of? And it's the God of heaven, the God of the universe. What a great thing to understand and to know that Jesus then gave his life so I can have that relationship directly with that God of the universe. Though I have that mark of him, it's been defaced through my sin. But now, now that I am cleansed of my sin through Jesus, what a great thing uh, to know that I bear his resemblance and that I am his. As tough as things are, rest assured, he's got this. Keep your eyes on him. This has been Real Christianity with Rev Kev. Yaki Yaki.